C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 5 lines and angles page 93 5.1 introduction you already know how to identify different lines line segments and angles in a given shape. Can you identify the different line segments and angles formed in the following figures? Figure 5.1 We have four different figures given here. Can you also identify whether the angles made are acute or obtuse or right? Recall that a line segment has two end points. If we extend the two end points in either direction endlessly, we get a line. Thus, we can say that a line has no end points. On the other hand, recall that a ray has one end point, namely its starting point. For example, Look at the figures given below. We have three different figures given here. Here, figure 5.21 shows a line segment. Figure 5.22 shows a line. And figure 5.23 is that of a ray. A line segment PQ is generally denoted by the symbol PQ with a dash on the top. A line AB is denoted by the symbol AB with a dash on the top with arrows pointing in both directions and the ray OP is denoted by OP with a dash on the top and an arrow in one direction. Give some examples of line segments and rays from your daily life and discuss them with your friends. Page 94 Again, recall that an angle is formed when lines or line segments meet. In figure 5.1, observe the corners. These corners are formed when two lines or line segments intersect at a point. For example, look at the figures given below. We have two figures given here. In figure 5.31, line segments AB and BC intersect at B to form angle ABC. And again, line segments BC and AC intersect at C to form angle ACB, and so on. Whereas in figure 5.32, lines PQ and RS intersect at O to form four angles POS, SOQ, QOR and ROP. An angle ABC is represented by the symbol ABC with an angle symbol in the front. Thus, in figure 5.31, the three angles formed are angle ABC, angle BCA and angle BAC. And in figure 5.32, the four angles formed are angle POS, angle SOQ, angle QOR and angle POR. You have already studied how to classify the angles as acute, obtuse or right angle. Note, while referring to the measure of an angle ABC, we shall write M angle ABC as simply angle ABC. The context will make it clear whether we are referring to the angle or its measure. 
try these. List 10 figures around you and identify the acute, obtuse and right angles found in them. 5.2 Related Angles 5.2.1 Complementary Angles When the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degrees, the angles are called complementary angles. Figure 5.4 In this figure, four angles are given. 1. 30 degrees angle 2. 60 degrees angle Are these two angles complementary? Yes. 3. 35 degrees angle 4. 65 degrees angle Are these two angles complementary? No. Whenever two angles are complementary, each angle is said to be the complement of the other angle. In the above diagram, figure 5.4, the 30 degrees angle is the complement of the 60 degrees angle and vice versa. Page 95 Think, discuss and write. 1. Can two acute angles be complement to each other? 2. Can two obtuse angles be complement to each other? 3. Can two right angles be complement to each other? Try these. 1. Which pairs of following angles are complementary? Figure 5.5 .5. Figure 5.5 5. 1. Here, two angles are given 70 degrees and 20 degrees. 2. Here, the two given angles are 75 degrees and 25 degrees. 3. The two angles are 48 degrees and 52 degrees. 4. Here, the two angles are 35 degrees and 55 degrees. 2. What is the measure of the complement of each of the following angles? 1. 45 degrees 2. 65 degrees 3. 41 degrees 4. 54 degrees 3. The difference in the measures of two complementary angles is 12 degrees. Find the measures of the angles. 5.2.2 .2. Supplementary Angles Let us now look at the following pairs of angles. Figure 5.6 Figure 5.6 1. 60 degrees and 120 degrees angles 2. 68 degrees and 112 degrees angles Page 96 3. 100 degrees and 80 degrees angles 4. 135 degrees and 45 degrees angles Do you notice that the sum of the measures of the angles in each of the above pairs, figure 5.6, comes out to be 180 degrees? Such pairs of angles are called supplementary angles. When two angles are supplementary, each angle is said to be the supplement of the other. Think, discuss and write. 1. Can two obtuse angles be supplementary? 2. Can two acute angles be supplementary? 3. Can two right angles be supplementary? Try these. 1. Find the pairs of supplementary angles in figure 5.7. Figure 5.7 1. 
110 degrees and 50 degrees angles. 2. 105 degrees and 65 degrees angles. 3. 50 degrees and 130 degrees angles. 4. 45 degrees and 45 degrees angles. Page 97. 2. What will be the measure of the supplement of each one of the following angles? 1. 100 degrees. 2. 90 degrees. 3. 55 degrees. 4. 125 degrees. 3. Among two supplementary angles, the measure of the larger angle is 44 degrees more than the measure of the smaller. Find their measures. 5.2.3 adjacent angles. Look at the following figures. When you open a book, it looks like the above figure. In A and B, we find a pair of angles placed next to each other. Look at this steering wheel of a car. At the center of the wheel, you find three angles being formed lying next to one another. At both the vertices A and B, we find a pair of angles are placed next to each other. These angles are such that 1. They have a common vertex 2. They have a common arm and 3. The non-common arms are on either side of the common arm. Such pairs of angles are called adjacent angles. Adjacent angles have a common vertex and a common arm, but no common interior points. Try these. 1. Are the angles marked 1 and 2 adjacent? Figure 5.9. If they are not adjacent, say why. Figure 5.9. Here, five different angles are given from 1 to 5, each of which is divided into angle 1 and angle 2. Page 98. 2. In the given figure 5.10, are the following adjacent angles? A. Angle AOB and angle BOC. B. Angle BOD and angle BOC. Justify your answer. Figure 5.10. In this figure, the angles are angle AOB, angle BOC, angle COD, angle BOD, Angle AOC. Think, discuss, and write. 1. Can two adjacent angles be supplementary? 2. Can two adjacent angles be complementary? 3. Can two obtuse angles be adjacent angles? 4. Can an acute angle be adjacent? To an obtuse angle? 5.2.4 Linear Pair A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays. We have two different figures here. Figure 1 Are angle 1, angle 2 a linear pair? Yes. Figure 2. Are angle 1, angle 2 a linear pair? No. Why? In figure 5.111 1 above, observe that the opposite rays, that is, which are the non-common sides of angle 1 and angle 2, form a line. Thus, 
angle 1 plus angle 2 amounts to 180 degrees. The angles in a linear pair are supplementary. Have you noticed models of a linear pair in your environment? Note carefully that a pair of supplementary angles form a linear pair when placed adjacent to each other. Do you find examples of linear pair in your daily life? Page 99 Observe a vegetable chopping board. Figure 5.12 a vegetable chopping board. The chopping blade makes a linear pair of angles with the board. A pen stand. The pen makes a linear pair of angles with the stand. Think, discuss and write. 1. Can two acute angles form a linear pair? 2. Can two obtuse angles form a linear pair? 3. Can two right angles form a linear pair? Try these. Check which of the following pairs of angles form a linear pair. Figure 5.13 We have four different figures shown here. 1. Angle 40 degrees and 140 degrees. 2. Angle 60 degrees and 90 degrees. 3. Angle 90 degrees and 80 degrees. 4. Angle 65 degrees and 115 degrees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India